Hello and welcome back to Space Hulk Ascension. Alright, shall we go and sharpen our swords? Ah, it's a single squad mission. Secure the armory, eliminate all gene stealers. Well, since our Psyker is now level 2 and actually has a useful psychic ability, let's see if we can get him killed. <laughs> In the wake of the explosion, the captain has ordered a withdrawal to the secondary defensive positions on the lower levels of the Space Hulk. On the way, the Tech Marines identified what appears to be an Astra Militarium uh, armori Armorarium? Full of weapons and ammunition. Your squad has been ordered to capture this chamber and secure as much ammunition and equipment as you can. Your armor's all specs ratio has gene stealer activity in the area. Prepare for battle. Sergeant of the squad, accept your orders. At the moment, it's still got the big problem that I yeah, reckon the first one had. I am now, what, four or five missions in? Bloody wonderful. So yes, I'm now about four or five missions in, and what have I been fighting? Gene Stealers. Gene Stealers. Gene Stealers, and, um, oh yes, Gene Stealers. Deployed. At this point, where's he at? No idea where Spot the Hand Puppet's got to at the moment, but uh, I'm sure he'd be very disappointed at his lack of inclusion. God. Securing position. Still disappointed that there's no customization on uh, the librarian. Right, so best way to go, I would assume, is down this way. Yeah, it feels right to me. My aim is true. Acknowledged. Okay. I like that four sword does look quite cool in the uh, thing there, but my aim is true. Clear a path. Yes, brother, moving. Okay, brother librarian, prove that thou dost not suck up with thine force sword. Good. And for the record, I quite like the melee kill animations, they're quite good. Overwatch protocol initiated. I just you know, quibble with the fact that uh, Space Marine Terminators get taken out in one hit. Given how good their armor is meant to be. I am moving, brother. You know, Terminator armor should Weapon be able to shrug off anything that's not you know, a tank shell, and frankly it should have a decent chance of shrugging off a tank shell. And again, please, Librarian. Let 
Probably is I take one look at uh, the way they use their swords and just go bloody amateurs. Which, you know, they're space marines. I should not be thinking bloody amateurs when I look at the way they handle their weapons. Securing area. You know, because let's face it, he used that power sword like it was a bloody club. You know, striking directly down on top of his opponent. No! You Clear never path. ever strike directly down at your opponent for one very simple reason. It's really easy to move to the left or to the right and avoid that blow and then just let it hit the floor, letting gravity do all the work. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, there is a reason why the standard uh, six basic cuts that are taught on almost all schools of medieval style fencing are the diagonal foot going from upper right to lower left, upper left to lower right, vice versa, so lower left to upper right, lower right to upper left, and uh... Enemy inbound. Is he far enough away that you can actually flame him? Yes, good. Kill. And uh, the two left and directly left and right cuts. Scanning for enemy movement. You know, those are the six basic attacks that are taught in basically all European schools of fencing. For the simple reason that they're a lot harder to avoid than a straight up and down cut. In fact, at some point I really must demonstrate exactly what happens if you try to use a straight up and down cut on an opponent who's been trained. It's really funny. Clear a path. Okay, do you think you can get me a wide shot? No, a wide shot. Wide enough to hit them? Why not put a Hey, clip one of them. I'll take that. Acknowledged. Stay alert, brothers. Watching for enemy contact. Targets! Right, now I kind of want them to come through there and try and bunch up. So then I can just have uh, Mr. Flamey there. That's his official name, by the way, Mr. Flamey. come through and just uh, wipe them out. Moving. <laughs> you know what? That's pretty much exactly what I was hoping they would do. Thou hast bunched up. Thou hast signed thine own death warrant. They come. And that was five kills with one uh, burst of fire. Uh, gotta love the effectiveness of flamers. Right. Moving. Slapped up a side barrier there, so they're not getting through there this turn. Which is good, because that lets me cover that approach. I'll let the flame guy cover this way. So if they attempt to come through there in any kind of numbers, they'll run into issues. With all 
due haste. Now I'll need to get the flame guy over there. Because he's really good at killing them on mass. But if I slap up another barrier, I need time to do it. Securing position. You. Get over there. Locked. Guys, facing that away, holding this approach for us. Affirmative. They will fall. I'm probably going to need these two to move along here pretty much alone, which sucks. Let's keep moving down this way. the advantage of actually having a count of how many enemies there are in this mission. Only four. Oh well. Makes it actually quite straightforward. I mean, he's running low on psi points, unfortunately. Just going to make it a little trickier. Because I'm basically just letting the enemy wear themselves out for intents and purposes. Now, they have to use up a lot of their forces trying to assail me here while I'm not particularly vulnerable. Then. Advance, brothers. Love that. He says, Advance, brothers, as I back him off. We have movement. Turn around. Cook him. None shall survive. You clear get a over path. there. That's it. Get over to there. They will forge. Got enough to move and enough to turn, but not enough to uh, move, turn, and shoot. That's okay. You, fresh magazine. You, fresh magazine. Incidentally, if I complete that eliminate all gene stealers objective and there's still gene stealers, I will be because. I did that you know that kind of thing. Oh, Still this is Securing position. This is why uh, the Emperor gave us flamers. Sure the Codex Astartes says when they're bunched up, burn them alive. Probably not in those words, but yeah. You know. High Gothic is a bit f new. <laughs> Tends to be a bit flowery in its language to tie Gothic. Watching for enemy contact. You guys still clear? Good, you had a very easy round last time. See, so yeah, at this point, I'm in a very defensible position. So I think it's actually better to just let themselves ex to let them exhaust themselves trying to get me. Obstruction removed. One more shot in the flamer. Yeah, I can only hit as far as the uh, broken door, unfortunately. Not that there's standard long fire. Yeah. Might hit one of them. And it did. You'll need to reload next turn, but that's fine. Knew that would happen. 
Okay, let's turn. Okay, we are down to ten bad guys. Jeez. Pretty darn snazzy. Again, I want you to put on the white oh, guy. That's one more gene stiller down. You guys, fresh mags. Clear to fire. Cool your weapons. Clear to fire. You are the one who's going to have the most problems, I suspect. I'm going to back you off one square. Overwatch. You can't do anything, and unfortunately, neither can you. Actually, should I buy him a little time? No, I don't think he needs it. Let's risk it. Okay, a nominal six enemies remaining. Clear a path. Based on the scanner locations, they're all going to be clustered over Our here. Quality. Might actually be enough to hit that guy. Long shot, but uh, worth it in my no mercy. humble opinion. Okay, it's five gene stealers remaining. Three gene stealers remaining. Let's handle the bats. Yes, brother. Moving. Stay alert, brothers. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Bloody nest. With all due haste, they will fall. Got one. Got another one. Which means logically there should only be one left. If there is, that'll make my life shockingly easy. As long as this doesn't turn into a game of hunt the fine. Aha! All gene steals eliminated. I was worried it was going to turn into a game of hunt the last enemy. So that's Clear always fun. Yes, as I say, if gene stealers continue to spawn now, I will be hacked off. Because that would be you know, unfair, basically. Yep. Looks like we're in the clear, Object brothers. Securing position. God, they've got clumpy boots. Ah, oh, don't tell me they can't get along here. Go, oh, great. So we've got to go. Around this way. Moving. Securing position. <laughs> Is 
yeah, by Moving effectively out. just digging in and letting them uh, run up against constant fields of fire and, well, mostly fire, to be honest. How come he's got so few uh, movement points? That was weird. Anywho. With all due haste. Yep, now I'm just going to manually move them over here. Well, this sure is interesting, isn't it, guys? Um, I could give you a lecture on uh, proper ways to use a sword if you want. I'm, you know, <laughs> it would basically be me pointing to these guys and going, not that. Seriously, Space Marines are meant to be properly trained to use you know, swords and... Yeah, swords, axes. Because for some reason, even though they've got bolters, which are you know, really, really good guns, they really like getting up close and personal. Yes, Commander. Not as much as the Space Wolves, who are completely psychotic. I mean, granted, most Astartes are at least a little bit psychotic. You've kind of got to be to uh, do the job, but still. You know, there's psychotic, and then there's raving loonies. Clear a path. Armory secured. Well, not quite. With all due haste. Just because I can. I'm just going to uh, properly place my squad as if I was trying to defend it. Acknowledged. Because wasn't this mission meant to be hard? Because that was really easy. All I had to do was dig in and wait. Oh well. Hey. Hey. I'm not sure if that guy. Was. Ah, yeah, yeah. His squad's doing reasonably well now. So, uh, Caius, who I'm assuming was my heavy weapons guy, got 29 kills. Nicely done, mate. Well, that is kind of the point of the heavy weapons guy. Strike when the enemy is weak. Okay, so. Yes, he's got his force axe. 20% bonus to uh, defense. That also has. Does, does that? Okay. Statistically speaking, they uh, both appear to have the same stats, but this one has an extra effect. Yeah, okay. Oh well, it looks good. And attributes. Uh, probably ought to boost his willpower, to be honest. He's still got two, so. Yeah, he's going to get attacked in melee sooner or later, and now he's got his four sacks, I might as well boost his skill in melee. You've unlocked the chain fist, have you? Yet the stats look exactly the same, but either way, you might as well have it. But again, you need ballistic skill. Sounds new and interesting. Those aren't the skills. It's eagle. Make using 10% when using sustained fire. I think I'll just keep the standard plus 5 for now. I don't need the door breach for one. And. So I'm assuming they only go as high as rank 5. So I think I'd rather hang on to the points and upgrade his ballistic skill to rank 5 next time he levels up. You need more ballistic skill though. And yeah, I'm going to hang on to the points again, I think. Still no combi bolter flamers. Which I'm assuming gives you more options. Alrighty then. Yeah, 
still got some points to spend as of you. Ah, oh, that's okay. So he's now ranked three, which is good, because he could soon get an assault cannon. Which will be very handy. Either way, that's probably a pretty decent point to end this video, and say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next part.